Ladies and gentlemen of the media, thank you so much for your patience. She is with us, an absolute phenom of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Danielle Kelly in the house. Danielle, great to see you. How's it going? How does it feel to be making your debut on what's the most star-studded card in the history of the organization? Um, it feels pretty good. I'm excited to showcase my jiu-jitsu and put on a really good show for the promotion. And I'm really excited to be competing under one championship. I couldn't believe this when I saw, I think she's had like 36 MMA fights and no one's ever finished her. So what would it mean to you to deliver that? It would mean a lot. Um, I, I have been studying her and I previously said she hasn't been submitted or knocked out um, from any of her matches, but it would be cool to get like a really cool submission on her and be the first uh, girl to submit her. When you say cool submission, I get the impression that you have something specific in mind. Is that the case? Uh, I have a few things in mind, but there's one specifically, yes. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, could you reveal it or have we got to uh, wait and see? Um, you guys will have to wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Okay, we're going to go across to our first media question, which comes from Steve Irvine. Steve, go ahead from MMA Radio. Hi, Danielle. It's a pleasure to talk to you. Hi, how are you? Not bad, not bad. So we'll just jump right into it. So you're one of the most popular grapplers in the world. Um, you're now in elite territory at one. How hard has it been for you with the questions surrounding a possible MMA fight? Because we know that you've you've had success beating many MMA fighters in the grappling world. How hard has it been? And if you do make that path, what's the ideal scenario for you to make that switch to MMA overall? Um, you know, I've been working on my striking and MMA rule set for like two years now. And I also started Muay Thai when I was like 18 or 19, when I was living in Philly. Um, you know, it's just more so if my coach is or if I feel like I'm ready, which I, I feel like I am. It's just more of, you know, like, when am I going to do it? Because right now I'm focusing on jujitsu right now. And I feel like I haven't really accomplished or proved myself um, yet. Uh, but, you know, I'm, always, I'm never satisfied. So I feel like... You know, I, I plan to make like a switch me later on this year um, before the year ends. Um, but, you know, it's always been in the back of my head that I would like to have an MMA fight and, you know, try to do well in that sport. Awesome. And just one more. If we're talking about the accolades in your grappling sense, how close do you feel your striking is getting to becoming as comfortable for you as grappling? So at first, you know, and when you first start off with a sport, especially for striking, any kind of striking or MMA, uh, you have to get used to trying to get punched in the face and it's never fun. But, you know, I, I feel like I don't have a problem with that because I feel like once I get punched in the face or kicked, I want to go after them. It makes me more motivated. And it kind of reminds me of jiu-jitsu because I'm still, you know, I want to try to submit them or take them out. Um, it's not really a huge difference, but obviously you can't really, you can't pull guard or anything. Um, and with that being said, I've also competed against really, really experienced, uh, really good women in, a, in a big MMA organizations. And, you know, just feeling them out, it's like I, I can be in there too with them. So they were bigger awesome. than me. No, well, it's great to see you under the one banner and we can't wait to see you compete. Thank you. Thanks, Stephen. Next, we go to Dylan Bowker of Sports Kita. Hey there, Danielle. I appreciate you making some time. Thank you. It was a little uh, hectic earlier. Oh, no worries. I've been there with some of that technology. It's a little fickle sometimes. But, you know, with, you know, Mei Yamaguchi seeming like someone you've studied a fair bit leading into this one, like in a pure grappling kind of context, what are your thoughts on her skills in that regard? Uh, her skills, I, I see that she has tried to go for a submission, but she has you know, submit a lot of the girls in her division and goes for submission and takedowns. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not ever going to take anyone, uh, not, or excuse me, I'm not going to take anyone easy just because she's more so a May fighter and she's a black belt. Um, you know, when I go in there, I'm going to treat her just like everyone else. She's a grappler as well. She's grappling with me. So it will be really interesting to see what she exchanges with me. Yeah, definitely. And it seems like you're looking to, you know, obviously stay active with the submission grappling this year. Are there some other one atom weights you would like to test skills with in different grappling super fights in the circle throughout this year? Uh, you know, I was just thinking that yesterday. Uh, 
Angela Lee is for sure on my list, and Izuki, she's a judo black belt, I believe. Um, they're actually fighting on the card next week with me. Um, be really interesting to test my skills against them. And I was looking at Michelle Nicolini at one point. I don't know if she competes at Adam Weight too, um, but that'll be a really cool match as well. Absolutely. And then just lastly, from me, I feel like I'd be remiss if I didn't ask. It looks like there's a stuffed Snorlax just to the side there. Would you say Snorlax is your favorite Pokemon? <laughs> Yeah, he's one of my favorites. Um, like originally I was gonna go into like the other room to like do the Zoom meeting, and then I realized like it's not working on my phone, so I wasn't suspecting with my messy room and my uh, Pokemon stuff. <laughs> this is my gaming room. <laughs> no, peeling back the curtain a little bit. Yeah, like Relax is like one of my favorite. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Dylan, are you still with us? Oh, no, that was all for me. I was just thanking Danielle for the time. Oh, thank you. Okay, lovely. Oh, thank up, you. Up next, we go to John Eric Poli of My MMA News. John, you're up. Hey, Danielle, you got me. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Awesome, Danielle. Thanks for doing this. Appreciate the time. So, First thing I want to ask you, like normally when we're doing these, we're talking to fighters about different things with training camps, as far as like scouting and whatnot goes, how much scouting exactly goes into a grappling competition? How do you kind of prepare for a specific opponent? Um, it's kind of similar to MMA. You kind of figure out their moves, what's their go-to, what are they really good at, you know, for jujitsu, or is that person more of a stand-up? Are they more like a wrestler are they more of a guard puller are they more well-rounded um i guess for this match uh i've been watching my opponent and i noticed that she's very forward and she go and she's a wrestler so it'd be interesting to test my skills and you're somebody that likes to stay pretty active i know obviously you want to just get through this match first here but do you plan on staying pretty active here throughout the year yes and then uh, will this be your first time going to Singapore and traveling across these? I know you teach a lot of seminars here in the United States. Is this your first time kind of going over overseas and sightseeing and whatnot? I've been to Mexico, but I don't really count that as compared to Singapore because Singapore is going to be like an 18 hour flight, which I'm super, super excited to visit Singapore. So it's a really cool place. And I've been like, you know, Googling it, like what's what's there to do, what's really cool. So I'm really excited for that and I'm looking forward to it. All right, I just got one last thing for you. I know you said you were going to do this from your other room. Is that the room that you have the Sopranos collection? Because I would, have, number one, like to see that. But even though you're in your room, I do like the, is that a Baby Yoda behind you? Because I'm a big fan of Baby Yoda, too. Yeah, this is Baby Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Danielle, thanks for the time. Thank you. All right, our next question comes in via text from... Panupong Tyrat, who asks, your first match in one championship is at 1X and against Mei Yamaguchi, no less. And <laughs> do you think there's pressure not just to win, but to win spectacularly? Uh, I don't feel pressure at all. You know, this is my first like huge event. Um, the only, I guess like for me, because I'm always hard on myself, is I, I want to put on a really good performance. And, you know, I really worked on my mindset for this and I want to go in there with a positive mindset and come for the finish. So that's been really motivating me. Um, you know, the last time I felt pressure, I usually did bad in a tournament or a match. So this time I'm kind of like, I'm grateful to be in this position. I'm grateful to go out there, travel all the way to Singapore and compete against May. Um, you know, and we're going to be like the only female grappling match on the card. So it's, I have like, it's a lot positive for me. So I'm looking forward to that. And I think I'm going to perform really well. All right. Next question comes from Tom Taylor of SEMP MMA. What's up, Danielle? How's it going? Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. It's great to chat with you again. Um, it's been a bit of a short training camp for you kind of in the grand scheme, but are you able to shed some light on what you've been doing to get ready for, for May specifically? I'm ready. You know, after my last match, you know, I didn't really, I felt like I didn't really show as much. And I know I was going up with a few weight classes, but I feel like when that whole thing happened, it kind of motivated, motivated me even more 
and I feel like, you know, I feel like a lot of people or some people are kind of doubting me um, and my skills. So this whole thing has been, you know, again, like I'm super grateful to be in this position, but I've also had my teammates there when push me, my coaches, and, you know, I'm just ready to like show what I'm about and hopefully get more matches later this year, prove myself. Cool. You, right, right. Uh, you're definitely the favorite in this one, but uh, May has mentioned that, you know, she thinks that she'll have some advantages in terms of strength and just physicality. Is that something that you've thought about? Do you expect her to be strong there? Uh, yes. I, I feel like most women are usually stronger than me. Um, but, you know, I, I feel like I've been working on my strength training a little bit. You know, it's jiu-jitsu is not always about who's stronger. I mean, it helps, um, but also the technique behind it, who has the better technique. Because two, two strong people with the same strength can only go so far, but who has better technique. Cool. Um, she's definitely pulled out all the stops, getting ready for you. She's invited some some legendary Japanese fighters over to to help her get ready. Uh, Sakuraba, if you're familiar with him, a few others. Uh, do you feel like that will be fruitful for her? Is that going to help her prepare for you, or is I mean, is she just kind of been over her head here either way? Um, you know that it helps because it'll help her. I guess if she's working her leg lock game or defenses, it'll, it'll definitely help. But you know, I, I think you should work on everywhere of your game and. You know, I, if she thinks I'm going to go for something specific, she could be right or wrong. So we can only tell when we compete. Uh, last one for me. This is your one championship debut, as we all know. You mentioned it's your first time in Singapore. Just a very exciting moment for you. If you fast forward to the to the moment that you, you know, presumably win this fight with May in these circumstances, how is that going to feel for you? It's going to feel, it's, I, I mean, I've been like kind of like, thinking ahead or like in the moment and if my hands when my hand gets raised I'll feel like I've accomplished so much and the fact that you know I'm winning under one championship the big stage you know it's gonna be such a great feeling I'm just looking forward to meeting everyone as well you know I'm looking forward to being there meeting everyone um and just performing you know that's what I like to do I like to perform I like to put on a really good show you know and with May, I know it's going to be super exciting because she's going to have to break me if she wants to take me out. Awesome. Well, thank you for the time, Danielle, and good luck with that long flight. Good luck with the jet lag. Thank you. Cheers, Tom. Next question is via text from Luisa Morales of philstar.com who asks, what games do you play? Are you a competitive gamer? And could you tell us a story about the time a fan recognized you in the Call of Duty lobby? <laughs> um. I play a lot. Of, well, I play a few games lately. I haven't really been playing much because I've been preparing for this match and training a lot. But I, I do like to play Call of Duty. My friends kind of switch to like League of Legends or Escape from Tarkov. They're really good games, but I'm more of like a, you know, shooter person. Um, I also have been playing Valorant as well. It's a really good game. Uh, the one time from Call of Duty, I was in a lobby with my friends. And I believe it was like a multiplayer. They have multiplayer games in Warzone. We were in a multiplayer game. And I was talking, I don't normally talk about fighting or jujitsu like with my friends, especially online, but somehow the conversation came up and I was discussing about like a past match or something. And I think in the midst of the conversation, I, I think I like my opponent's name or like a promotion and someone in the lobby was like, Oh my God, wait, are you Danielle Kelly? <laughs> and I got really sad. I was like, yes, I am. And then that was like it from the moment because uh, it was like in the loading screen to like play the game and they were on the other team. So that was really cool, but also awkward, but really cool. Awesome. Well, it's fantastic to have you in one championship. We can't wait to see you do what you do best. And uh, there's a lot of exciting fights on the horizon for you. So thanks for joining us. Good luck with the trip over. And good luck awesome. with the match. Thank you so much. Thank you.